hello 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 welcome back welcome back to divine destiny guide i have another message for you you know what the title is i was just shuffling and again meditating on the cards and let me tell you this is great news awesome news for some of you you have been praying for a long time you have been hopeful and i believe that this is this is such a powerful message it should be short because when i looked at the card i i smiled because this is breakthrough this is this is what some of you some of us we need because for too long we've been plagued and terrorized by the enemy i made a video keeping your enemies closer thank you guys for your comments and your feedbacks as well but you know i just think it is so hard i can understand to a point you know jesus he's god he could keep an eye on, on judas but my goodness it's a lot of work but you know i don't know but for me it's like i just want to stay focused and work on what i'm working on without looking over my shoulder you know are afraid to be stung by someone again especially if they stung me in the past so you know i guess to each his own but um yes yeah, so if this is your first time welcome i hope this message will resonate and as a result you will subscribe be a part of the tribe here It'd be great to have you if you're a returning soul tribe or new soul tribe or welcome welcome to the family thank you so very much for your continuous love and support happy holidays to you and i pray you're doing well wherever you are knowing you are blessed you're highly favored god is for you and because he's for you who can be against you so let's get right into it so these these are the cards i've never this is a fairly new deck but i've never seen this card before it says right so it's like you know like the rite of passage you know some of those um kind of like harry potter stuff where people are doing their hoodoo voodoo and they're floating above you know because you have the circle there with all these triangles in there so you know some cultish things with the candles going on there um maybe somebody was trying to manifest something to get in touch with the darker side uh to manifest some things and right after that the card that came out is disturbance so whatever it is that they were working on they were doing it was disturbed uh irritation supernatural so something so they were dibbling and dabbling in something you know like i said was more cultish on the darker side and as a result of that it's like it it blew up in their face in this person's face it's an irritation supernatural obscure so they were hiding away you know it's like what is done in the dark come to light and the card that came out right after that is protest so attention inadequacy so when i see this card i see judgment it's like judgment is calling a situation it's like god is saying enough is enough it's like god is calling out or he called out this person you know it's like somebody had to come to take them out from where they were wow <laughs> yeah it's like judgment is called it's like god is protesting it's like enough already you have done enough to hold my people back to oppress to suppress them with all of this nonsense and and it is over it is over and then right after that is this card they were making a vow so they were carrying out a ritual it's like offering up a sacrifice you see you know like the house the card it says they were making a wish they were hoping and they were worshiping 
you see how you know with the tree all these little things tying on there yes yeah, so they were with the two bottles so whomever this person is or these people they were trying to offer you up as a sacrifice isn't it funny how she's like you know the guy is helping her out so it's like maybe it's a female who was like the head oncha you know of it all carrying out this along with this person and clearly whatever they were doing it backfired the accident so it's like whatever they wanted for you they are the ones who end up hurting themselves as a result of that when everything blew up and backfired in their face now this person is sick it says disease weakness fragility somebody is sick they are in distress they're frail they're weak discomfort because of what they did and they try to do to you yeah and right behind it they're stressed they're stressed they can't sleep this remind me of the nine of swords this card says a lack of sleep pressure and headache so they're going through a lot i mean their plans definitely backfired in their face now they are stressed because they are exposed so it's like you know all of this is under the protest card so like i said god called judgment on the situation now it's like karma is playing out because the same thing that they wanted for you it is now happening in their life so this is why if we can't do good, we stay away from evil. But some people, they have to learn the hard way, the hard way. And then I ask, what is the right? What is, what is that? Who was doing that? The three of cups. So this is, or these are people that you celebrated with, you hung out with. Isn't it something funny how, you know, talking about keeping your enemies closer. So this, or these could be people whom you know you celebrate with you hang around with and now they are the ones who are trying to offer you up as a sacrifice they are the ones who are trying to work against you guys maybe this is why we don't want to 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 keep them too close but you know yeah the ace of pentacles to clarify disturbance so yeah, so they were trying to mess with your stability, a new beginning. Maybe you were trying to start a business to get an offer, a stable offer. They were trying to interfere with that. Your livelihood, your means of income. Somebody wanted to disturb that, to interfere with that. But as a result, it's like it blew up in their face. I mean, like, look, look at her. It's like, it, you can't even see her eyes. It's like she's blinded. Looks like chicken pox. I mean, got burnt all over by the same candles that she was jumping on and that whatever it that was are floating over. The plans backfired. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I when I saw this, I just I just laugh because I'm like, wow, 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 wow and protest so they were protesting you you could be an emperor an empress someone everything anything you touch it turns to gold you're confident you're a divine masculine divine feminine and somebody in your circle somebody in your midst or some people could be up to three people could be two people for some of you who were working against you. You see how as the emperor, how stable you look, you're a boss, you're a leader. They didn't like that. I mean, look at you in your power, in your glory. Looking good, I love to say, feeling good, smelling good. But I can't help but see right there is the sword, is the truth. And on the tip of the sword is a flame, the fire. Isn't that something? So it's like they played with fire and they got burned. They absolutely did. They played with fire. It's like, this is your proof. This is your testimony. This is your witness, your evidence. 
that you have been through it. It's like people tried it with you. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love this for you. I love that for us. I mean, the plan backfired. They played with fire. They were playing with magic, guys. And they got burned. They got burned. Eight of Wands. So these people were trying to interfere with a communication. You getting good news. I mean, definitely they wanted to hold you back. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. Oh my goodness. I love this for you. I love that. I mean, I've never seen anything so clear, you know, like with these decks that I'm seeing here. So I'm just like a bit taken back here. But this is this is awesome news. This is awesome news. The plan backfired. All the rituals, all the ceremonies that they've been having, you know, trying to hold you back. See, nine of pentacles. This is all about your stability. Some of these people too, they could even be people in your family who were doing this to you as well. But definitely, they knew that if you were stable, look, I mean, look, look at you. You're radiating, you're glowing, you would have your peace, you would be flourishing. They didn't want that for you. They did not want that for you. Some of them wanted you to be in freak accidents, but again, they are the ones who ended up, it blew, it blew right up in their face, guys. This is awesome. Look, I can't make it up. The magician. Yeah, they were trying to do magic. They were trying... Oh, and right behind it, look, guys, I can't make it up, is the high priestess. You knew this. For some of you, this is confirmation. This, this, is what, this was already revealed to you. You are the keeper of secret. You're very intuitive. You're tapped in. You're connected. Yeah, they were trying to work magic. Now they are the ones who are stressed out. They are the ones who are sick. They wanted you to be sick. They got burned. I'm telling you, this is why I, I don't. I don't feel sorry for people who purposefully go out of their way to hurt people who have done nothing to them. And no wonder we are encouraged that when we are doing these things to dig two pits because one will be yours. You're going to fall right back in that ditch that you dug. And this is exactly what happened here. Yeah, you are the high priestess. You know this. You know this. The divine reveals. He tells you. Wow. King of so Queen of Swords. This is the truth. You have clarity. You're very intelligent, very wise. You know things. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. Yeah. King and Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't play with people. This is why you put your foot down. This is why when you when when your intuition tells you something, you're guided by it. People can't fool you easily anymore. You have been through a lot of things. Like I said, with the King and Queen of Swords, you are somebody who probably have gone through failed relationships, failed connections. People manipulate, betrayed you, and you learn from that. So this, to me, doesn't mean that this is a partnership, but it could just be that you, you learn to master your masculine and your feminine energy when it comes to you being aware of when people are lying, you know how to put your foot down in that masculine energy as well. To boss up is like, don't play with me kind of energy. Wow. 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 I love it. I love it. Yeah. They didn't want you to be happy. Ten of cups. And like I said, for some of you, they didn't want you to be in a connection because here it's a couple they didn't want you to have love. Some of these, like I said, it could be your own family 
who were trying to do this to you. Yeah, but the wheel, it is fated, it is destined. What God has for you, it is for you. And look, the King of Pentacles. So for, so for some of you, like this is an offer that this person or people they were trying to block. The plan backfired. I'm telling you, they played with fire and they got burned. A lot of, we have the emperor, the king of pentacles, king of swords. So we have a lot of major arcana here too. You know, people were just really playing it. They were trying you. They definitely wanted to stop your abundance, to create blockages in your life. This is why they were carrying out rituals to worship. Now they are stressed because it's going to happen anyway. This is why they were working magic. This is what they were doing, making sacrifices and offerings to their God to block something beautiful from coming into your life. But I, I can tell you the plan, it backfired. Yep, it, now they're stuck. They are stuck, <laughs> look, in the Four of Swords. See, even the tree. It looks like there's like band-aid on the tree. They are wounded. We saw the card. They are sick. They are stressed out. Everything the enemy meant for evil. See, right behind it, five of swords. This person, these people, they were competitive. They were competing. They wanted to win at all cost. Oh my goodness. I love this for you. I love this for us. Let's just get like a few more from a different deck. Just uh, ooh, too many. I love it. I love it. Look, boundaries, boundaries, and boundaries, guys. Do you really want to keep your enemies that close? Boundaries, boundaries with these people over the three of pentacles, boundaries. Wow. Mm, mm -mm. Look, family, I can't make it up. These were some of these people who were working against you, working against us. They were families. And again, families, it could mean that you were born in the bloodline. It could be that these are people you consider to be your families who were working against you. Oh, man. They, oh. Thank you, Lord. Yep, God protested them. See, financial health, I told you. Ah, oh, and at the back, it's justice. Justice, financial health. They did not want you to be in financial health. That's what I told you with that nine of pentacles. They know that if you were supposed to get this job, this career, this business, this offer, it would make you independent. You would have peace of mind. And these people wanted to stand in the way of, of that. Oh my. But yeah, like I said, this is justice. You know, with the protest, that's judgment. It's like mercy said no. This is your karma. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they were trying to offer you up as a sacrifice. Yeah, blessings on top of blessings. They can't stop it. These family, these people, they can't stop it. The divine says trust. Trust. What is it that you want? That home, you're going to get it. Doesn't it look like, you know, this time of the year, winterish? Yeah, some of you, you're going to get that home, that foundation, that stability that you have been praying for. Whatever this, this home signifies to you, peace, love, joy, an offer, a business, an office, contract, whatever it is. Divine is saying it is yours. Yeah. You done the work. Transformation from a caterpillar to the butterfly. It's like you have been through so much. It's like it does take a little while. The caterpillar to the butterfly is not an overnight process. It's a lot of groaning. You know, it's like these people, they were celebrating too soon with that three of cups. You know, how they were, what they were doing, because maybe for a long time it was working. But see, again, a delay does not mean a denial. 
And even though they were trying to hold you back, at the same time, you were not stagnant. You were not stuck because God was creating, causing all things to be made new in your life. So that when this gift, this new opportunity comes in, you will already make room. You are disciplined. For some of you, these people really try to hold back your money. Robbing Peter to pay Paul can barely make ends meet. Mm. But see, all that time God had you where you had to be on a budget. To be disciplined enough. So you know how to make a dollar stretch. Some of you cutting coupons. Going to the store, picking up the beer minimum. But all this time, God was causing all things to work together for your good. This transformation, this is a painful process. The end result is beautiful, but nobody ever sees the pain that you go through or you went through to be this nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, king or queen of pentacles here. You're transformed. We saw the king and queen of swords. It's like now you've learned so much because you have been betrayed and lied to. Yeah, your dreams are coming true. Your dreams are coming true. I really hope and pray you believe this. If this message is for you, you know it. You have been, you have been held back. What seems to be against your will, people wanted to create disturbance in your life. It, it blew up in their face. The plans backfired, family. I am so happy to be bringing you this message. A lot of you, you're just finding this out right now. You're finding this out right now and you're happy. Look at you. You're glowing. You're radiating. Mm, yes. Lighten your load. Yes, your load will be lighter now. These people try to create a lot of stress and tension and burden. And I'm telling you, God showed up for you. God showed up. We saw the emperor. God showed up in your life. The king of swords could be Archangel Michael. He showed up to fight on your behalf. Yeah, you will be an inspiration to others. Your life and your story. Yes, you are empowered you are stronger because of this, uh, because of everything that you have gone through. Like they say, what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And just to finish it off with, oh, it looks good. It looks good. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. God is your light and your salvation. You will fear nobody. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the strength of your life. I told you, you're stronger now. You're empowered because of everything that you have gone through. Yeah. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, said the Lord. Yeah. Protest. Mercy said no. Archangel Michael showed up and showed out for you. God is fighting your battles. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. I've, I mean, this is like so, 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 so straightforward. A lot of these people, be careful. They're going to want to come back to reconcile. This is the truth. This is the truth. This is the truth. Yeah, a lot of these people, you consider your friends. The next card says closure. Walk away from what no longer serves you. Close that chapter of your life. Move on. Protection. This is like protect your craft, protect your heart, protect your mind, protect your peace. This reminds me of the Empress. Your birth thing, some of you, your mothers. You could be pregnant, congratulations. But you are royalty, look at you. They wanted to stop you. Some of you, you're getting clarity right now. Yeah, they wanted to stop your manifestation. Some of them were trying to mess with your beauty. But here, you have answers. You got answers. Yeah, you're strong. 
courage. You are unstoppable. I love it. I love it. Your willpower. They can't keep a good man or a good woman down. Yeah, it's like whatever life hands you, you know how to juggle it. You know how to balance it. Wow. Wow. They wanted to mess with your well-being. I love this for you. And see, this is why you're, you're an earth angel. Empath. All of this made you more compassionate, more loving. Yeah, your peace. I love it. I love it. We could go on and on. It just gets beautiful as we go along. Thank you, family. I certainly hope that this message bless your heart. Until next time, take care. Be blessed.